Yard work, absolutely the last thing that you want to worry about in this heat. And when you add mosquitoes to the mix, oh, forget about it. But for landscaping businesses, this is all good news. Chris Six News reporter Ashley Portillo explains. Homeowners say they're tired of pesky mosquitoes attacking them as they do their yard work. That's why many are calling on local landscaping businesses for some assistance. More mosquitoes means more customers for local landscaping businesses. James McJunkins, the owner of James Lawn Service, says the phones at his business have been ringing nonstop. On a typical summer day, James Lawn Service gets about 20 phone calls a day, but since last week's heavy rain, they've been averaging about 60 calls a day. 90% of the time it doesn't stop ringing. Every five minutes we get a call. Thank you for calling JLS. Those calls are from customers like Roger Hunter. He says he's avoided his backyard this week because of the mosquito swarms. I haven't even been able to go out to my garden and take care of it or anything like that because even with spray on, they were crawling in my nose, they were going in my ears. Hunter says he'd rather the landscapers take care of the lawn and avoid getting bit by any more mosquitoes. These guys mowing the grass, I feel for them because I don't know how they could do that. No way I could do it. That's why I pay them to do it. The owner of James Lawn Service says they've received so many calls, they're behind schedule a full week, but he hopes to be back on schedule by the end of July. Back to you guys in the studio. Ooh, a brave, brave people. Uh, hopefully the mosquito population will begin to drop soon. Vector, vector control will be spraying the Flower Bluff area south of SPID tonight. They will also target routes 11, 30, and 31 that they're on your map right there. Uh, those are the areas of North Beach and the island. We have more information on vector control's spraying schedule for the next few days. You can just visit our website, ChrisTV.com, for more info. One of six men charged in a fatal home invasion in April that left a local couple dead was in court this morning. Trevor Wheeler was formally charged with capital murder and engaging in organized criminal activity. He pleaded not guilty to both charges and asked for a jury trial. Wheeler is accused of shooting and killing Arturo and Miriam Lopez in their home on Balchuk Lane back in April. During today's hearing, Wheeler's mother pleaded with the judge to reduce her son's $1.2 million bond. That's my baby. That's my first fault. I mean, does he pay attention? He, he knows better. Judge, Judge Galvan denied her request. The district attorney has not decided if he'll ask for the death penalty in Wheeler's case. And two people have died after the SUV they were in rolled over this morning just west of Cal Allen. A DPS spokesman says 47-year-old Raymond Gordon King was driving on FM 624 around 1 this morning when he ran off the road. King managed to get back on the road but lost control again, causing the SUV to roll over several times. King and a female passenger were thrown from the vehicle. Both were not wearing seatbelts. The female victim's name has not yet been released. Investigators don't know what caused King to run off the road. That Maryland newspaper that was the scene of yesterday's deadly mass shooting has not let that tragedy stop them. The Capitol Gazette published a newspaper today. Its opinion page listed the names of the five employees killed, along with the words, Today we are speechless.